Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, glowfish. Which I'm not really sure what a glowfish is, but it looks like it might be this little guy right here. Or this bigger guy right here may actually be the father of the little guys. Not sure yet. It is uh, developed and published by Mumbo Jumbo and they uh, made their name on the casual scene mm, with games like uh, Seven Wonders and Luxor and stuff like that. It's uh, ver very casually oriented. And uh, here's what Glowfish has to say about itself. The evil Dr. Urchin has kidnapped Coraline. It's up to Glowfish to free his lady friend and, s <laughs> and sea pals everywhere to from... This is apparently very difficult today. I was up uh, watching the UFC fights last night, so please forgive me. Let's try it again, shall we? The evil Dr. Urchin was, has kidnapped Coraline. It's up to Glowfish to free his lady friends and sea pals everywhere from his clutches in this underwater platform adventure. Beware! While you scour the ocean floor in search of lost friends waiting for rescue, a host of enemies is lurking. Each level takes you deeper in the unique ocean world with new challenges and enemies at every turn. Gather your friends to make Glowfish bigger and better at challenging, at challenging the boss on each level. See the captive friends free by sur surrounding Glowfish with a powerful circle of friends. Or circle the enemies to fire your blasting bubbles and win the battle. Add to your team by collecting powerful super chumps to help you along the way and upgrade them by collecting coins to give you even more of an edge in each boss battle. Dive in and be prepared to be dazzled in Glowfish. No matter how casual this game is, I must say that it looks really brilliant. And I mean that in a color and light fashion. It's very colorful and very, very bright. But shall we see what this game has to offer? Hello player name. Let's add a new player, shall we? This is us. Yes. Hello, I-500. Play. Glowfish and Coraline. Coral line. Live happily in the briny depths of making friends. Dr. Urchin blood boils when he's <laughs> the sea is alive and well. I gotta say, this uh, parallax scrolling thing is quite mesmerizing. Don't just swim around snarking. Bring me some friends. Oh, those look kind of evil. That Eshinodon got Coraline and my friend. Got a point to make with Urchin. Uh -huh. Now, let's go. Move Glowfish. With glowfish with your mouth or the keyboard arrow key. Ah, it's one of those you move the cursor away to pick up speed and you can slow down by bringing it closer. Yeah. Like I said, very colorful game. Four friends and then return home. And this is our home, apparently. Oh, I thought I was supposed to swim into that thing. Oh well. Quite leading. Ten coins. Do I get a bonus for that? Apparently not. Form a defensive circle by pressing the left mouse button or space bar on. Am I going to sacrifice these guys? Nope, I'm going to smash into these things. Feels like I sh there should... Oh, it's a toggle, so I don't have to hold the button as, uh, either. It feels like um, there should be a secret somewhere, but apparently not. There you go, my children. Or, they're not children, actually. They're friends. Enemies are too big to smash. Weaken it first by circling with your... 
circling with your friends following. Yeah. Okay, they... Now I only have three. Didn't I have four before? Oh, it might actually be that I'm not supposed to... I'm actually supposed to... Oh, I released bubbles by actually circling it. Okay. Now I get it. Yes, and they made it home safely. And the whirlpool. Next. I don't want to visit the next level yet. I want to see if there are any secrets in this place. Ah! Told you it felt like there were secrets here. So now I have three friends, but will they actually do anything? Can I drop them off somewhere? Get back here. Can't drop them off there. Well, I guess we just finished the level then. Bubble, bubble, toil, and no trouble at all. <laughs> Only a four star rating out of five, though. Gotta ask why not a five star, since I managed. Tab to open the map. This, this map was not helpful so far. But I know where I gotta go. Oh, right, um, boink, boink, you guys are too big, now you're not too big, and now you're not too big, figure that one out kind of quickly, wasn't too difficult, oh, I got stung by the anemone, I live in an anemone, anemone, for those of you that saw Finding Nemo. Yeah, might as well drop him off. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else right here. type of friend, isn't it? Whoa! Ouch! You might actually be small enough to... Oh, managed to get it anyway. Do they care how big they are if I'm circling them? Oh! Stop that! This actually wasn't all too easy to control with these the follow the cursor commands. Easy to make turns a little too tight and then you smash into something. You're a biggie. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something in the path we did not take. What did that say? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I wanted to try and see if I could do anything with that one. The answer was no. Not everyone is my are my friends. Jellyfish are not my friend, apparently. Let's stay away from jellyfish, shall we? More coinage. 
Any more carnage? No, we already came from this place. Don't really seem to matter how big the puffer fish are. Can still attack them with just a few guys in tow. Which is good to know, actually. Ouch. Get back here. And it doesn't matter if I go clockwise or counterclockwise. This guy looks like he does actually care about the size of our team. But it looks can be deceiving. I guess it's just a matter of making sure that the bubble trail goes all the way around. Maybe we should try that next time we find something. Big coinage and oh, is this a hidden path? Yes. Ah! It's gaming like that. Woo! Could you please move? Can I please pass? Whoop! Wow, you're. Kind of in the way right here. Let's get rid of the smaller ones first. Doesn't seem to happen happen anything if I jam the little guys into the enemies by having the trail go a little bit too narrow. All that matters is me, actually, or Glowfish. Now I have a lot of little friends on tow here. Does that grant me anything extra? Not that I can find out, except for the fact that the trail is pretty long and most likely easier to circle enemies. I couldn't even drop everyone off. And another secret area. Whoop, missed you. There's a little bit of inertia, not too much. Whoa, I lost two guys actually. Two star rating. Uh, oh, right, right, I died. That's gotta affect the rating somehow. I wonder if the time has anything to do with it. That looks like a manta ray. Ow! Alright, you are the. Whoop. Now I wanna circle all the enemies instead of bashing into him because there are so few enemies that you actually have to bash. Not sure what those things are either. I gotta say, this game is bright and colorful. Where am I going? I have a map, of course, so maybe I should consult the map. Uh, yeah, let's check that corner up there. Might have missed something. Coinage? Ouch. Not sure what those are. Oh, there we found that if we press the uh, right mouse button, we get a little boost. Wonder if we'll get a tutorial for that one.
Oh, trailing. Is there any logic to as to why I gotta trail him and why we, if we trail him they shoot bubbles at him? Not that I can think of, no. Uh, need more friends for that one. Where are all my friends? Wah! That was actually quite scary. These gotta be the eggs of the that big fishy. What I'm guessing, anyways. All right now, I can headbutt you guys. That wasn't helpful. There we go. Another one, and boom, and boom. If a creature lashes onto you, shake them off by rapidly moving controllers side to side. I take it we're gonna get acquainted with another enemy right now. Somewhere in this little labyrinth. Ah. Would say that one. But he didn't manage to actually latch on. We're too quick. Isn't it cheating if they attack in a 3D pattern and I only move in two? Whoop. Almost. Oh, I can bump those if I'm big enough. Cool. Good to know. Does the tutorial say that? Nope. And you're too scared to actually come out of hiding. You little... What are you? Bait or fish? There was another one, right? Ah, there we are. Ah! Got him. And no, 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 not yet. Oh, managed to boost out of there. <laughs> Almost getting stuck again. Come on, I want to explore this area. Nope, apparently not. Yeah, level three complete. Wait, uh, one star rating. I'm getting worse and worse here. But it's peaceful, it's colorful, it's bright. Controls are simple, just follow the cursor. Instructions are simple, collect your little friends. Headbutt some enemies, circle other enemies. And you collect more friends. Then you drop your friends off at their house. Very simple, very elegant. Not actually what I expected from a company that... Whoops! Ah! That is no bueno! What happens if he eats too many enemies and I can't get to him? Or can I circle him? No... Yes, I can! Ah! Did not expect that to happen, but... Yeah, that's good to know. I can circle the big ones. Not the most action-filled title in my library, but very soothing, very zen-like. And like I said, not the kind of game I expected from a company that mainly seems to be focused on creating titles that are very uh, like a puzzle bubble kinds of games 
Where you shoot colorful bubbles at other bubbles to make those bubbles disappear, and then you make different game types with uh, that setup. At least uh, that's my impression of Luxor. I may be wrong. I may be rem not remembering the correct game. Do I really want to? No, there's more to explore here. We're not done, sir. Need two more for that one. Whoops, did not mean to finish the level there, but good a time as any. That is Glowfish. Very soothing, very parallax scrolling, very bright and colorful, and peaceful and bubbly. So until next time, happy gaming. Move glowfish with glowfish with your mouth or the keyboard arrow key. Ah, it's one of those you move the cursor away to pick up speed and you can slow down by bringing it closer. Yeah. Like I said, very colorful game. Four friends and then return home. And this is our home, apparently. Oh, I thought I was supposed to swim into that thing. Oh well. Quite leading. Ten coins, do I get a bonus for that? Apparently not. It's to fire your blasting bubbles and win the battle. Add to your team by collecting powerful super chumps to help you along the way and upgrade them by collecting coins to give you even more of an edge in each boss battle. Dive in and be prepared to be dazzled in Glowfish. No matter how casual this game is, I must say that it looks really brilliant and I mean that in a color and light fashion. It's very colorful and very, very bright. But shall we see what this game has to offer? Hello player name. Let's add a new player, shall we? This is us. Yes. Hello, I find Roger. Play. Glowfish and Coraline. Coral line. Live happily in the briny depths of making friends. Dr. Urchin blood boils when he's <laughs> the sea is alive and well. I gotta say, this uh, parallax scrolling thing is quite mesmerizing. Don't just swim around snarking, bring me some friends! Oh, those look kind of evil. That Eshino Dome got Coraline and my friend. Got a point to make with Urchin. Uh huh. Yeah, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, Glowfish. Which I'm not really sure what a Glowfish is, but it looks like it might be this little guy right here. Or this bigger guy right here may actually be the father of the little guys. Not sure yet. It is uh, developed and published by Mumbo Jumbo, and they uh, made their name on the casual scene mm, with games like uh, Seven Wonders and Luxor and stuff like that. It's uh, very, very casually oriented. And uh, here's what Glowfish has to say about itself. The evil Dr. Urchin has kidnapped Coraline. It's up to Glowfish to free his lady friend and, <laughs> and sea pals everywhere to, from... This is apparently very difficult today. I was up uh, watching the UFC fights last night, so please forgive me. Let's try it again, shall we? The evil Dr. Urchin was, has kidnapped Coraline. It's up to Glowfish to free his lady friends and sea pals everywhere from his clutches in this underwater platform adventure. Beware! While you scour the ocean floor in search of lost friends waiting for rescue, a host of enemies is lurking. 
Each level takes you deeper in the unique ocean world with new challenges and enemies at every turn. Gather your friends to make Glowfish bigger and better at challenging, at challenging the boss on each level. See the captive friends free by sur surrounding Glowfish with a powerful circle of friends. Or circle the enemies.